To stencil your witchy welcome board, you will need Americana acrylic paints, stencil brushes, a paper plate, paper towel, and Stencilese spray repositionable adhesive. Start by spraying the back of your stencil with repositionable spray adhesive. Hold the can 8 to 12 inches away as you coat the stencil, then let 30 seconds pass before using. Line the stencil up in the center of the board and press it firmly to the surface. Then use frog tape painter's tape to mask off the edges of the stencil. To start stenciling, you will want to get a bit of black paint onto a paper plate. Next, you will want to take a flat tip stencil brush and weed out any loose bristles. Then, thoroughly swirl the paint into your brush. Now, you will want to get a piece of paper towel. Swirl paint off of your brush until it is about dry to the touch. Loading the brush with the right amount of paint is crucial, so take your time to get it right. Swirl paint lightly and gradually through the stencil design. Paint may not swirl out of the brush smoothly after the first time you load it with paint. After loading the stencil brush with paint a second time, the paint will come off the brush smoothly. Swirl paint through the stencil and onto the design edges to entirely coat this witch hat black. Next, we will add some orange to the design. Swirl the orange acrylic paint into a fresh stencil brush, then swirl the excess off onto paper towel. Swirl orange through the design in two to three coats until you reach full color. For each new color, you will need to repeat the steps of swirling paint into a clean brush, swirling paint off onto paper towel until it is dry to the touch, and swirling paint through the stencil design in two to three light coats of paint. Stenciling is a gradual process, so keep in mind this video is sped up to show the whole process in three minutes. If you rush and use too much paint, you may end up with paint bleed beneath the stencil. Take your time to stencil right. To alternate colors in close quarters, start by stenciling the lighter color first. Now use painter's tape to mask off the orange to then stencil the darker purple. Last, mask off the painted portion of the design to stencil the darkest part in black. If we check beneath the painter's tape, you can see that each color came out perfectly. Finish painting the design and peel off the stencil to reveal your work. To protect the paint and give your project a glossy finish, use Americana Glossy Acrylic Spray on the wood surface. Let the spray dry and your new Halloween welcome board will be ready for your front door. Visit oaklanestudio.com to check out the tools used in this tutorial.